let's get into this. I'm making this video so I can be square with my audience. Lately I felt very inauthentic as of late. In addition, I feel that I'm not communicating certain ideas through my art. Hopefully this video clears things up. So I'm guessing you are wondering why my prices have shot up so drastically. Well, there's a saying in freelance world that illustrates, say no with a price. If you do not want to do something, instead of flat out rejecting a potential revenue source, just state a really high price. If the client refuses, then there's no skin off your nose, since the project did not interest you. If, you, if they agree on those terms, then you just upped your rates. At this point in time, I really don't want to take projects that do not interest me at the moment, especially if the job is paying chump change. I got bills, man. If your project ain't knocking bills out, I don't want to do it. There's more to it than that, which I'll get into in a second. So recently, I was working on a project referred to me by my by a friend. Not to get into much detail, but it was a short-term project. I made the usual spiel on how the process works and we both agreed to the terms. I started making the concepts without charging a cent, primarily to see if the client liked what they saw. However, while drawing those very concepts, I noticed I was dragging my feet on them. For whatever reason, I could not bring myself to fully finish the concepts or draw any sketches for the project. I soon came to realize that my heart was not into this project. Try as I might, shit ain't happening. Like man, I promise ya, I was trying real hard. But the project just absolutely bored me to tears. So promptly I told my client I couldn't do it and referred him to another artist. And I know what you're thinking. Bruh, just get the bag my G, don't be thinking about nothing else. Well, there's here's the thing man, I just can't fucking do that no more. Like, I'm burnt the fuck out, bruh. Like, sincerely. It's not like it was a whole lot of money either. It was chump change, really. Additionally, I've been doing that for my art career for the last three years. Seven, if you're counting all the social media work I had to do to get myself known. Yeah, man. I'm just kind of overdoing things that, quite frankly, I'm not inspired by. Folks. I want you to do me a solid and go to my bio and click my IG link. I want you to go through my entire feed, see all my artwork and start noticing a pattern in the art I chose to show. Some of you who've been following me for a minute would notice I've deleted like five years worth of content on there, but regardless, you can already tell a few things about my art that I'm showing. You might think it looks very anime or super dynamic or super action packed. That's a really good thing. Those were my intentions. But what I really don't want you to think is I can make a motherfucking logo or some cutesy shit or even a family portrait. It's not like I can't do it. It's more like I don't want to anymore. Shit boys me to tears, my guy. I want to pursue a style that actually interests me and not to be an artist version of a Swiss army knife. Moreover, I much rather pursue my comic these days so I honestly do not want have any further interest that, than pursuing that matter. It's been long overdue, but I'm gonna start rebranding myself. For the better part of seven years, I came to realize I wasn't making art that I like. I was making art to be popular so I could be recognized by a big studio and be a big time professional artist. But lately, I think chasing that goal has been a bit of a fool's dream, especially with the industry that I always wanted to get involved in, like video games and animation, having very turbulent production behind the scenes. It's also worse if you're a person of color too, looking directly at you Netflix. It's also worse that my posts are under the mercy of social media algorithms that seek for you to post inhumane amounts. Frankly, I can't keep doing that for the rest of my career as an artist. Not a content creator, bro. I'm a fucking artist, and it's high time I started acting like it. Overall, I'm just not getting the audience to make an actual ripple to the channels that I want. So might as well do the things that I want to do. 
what I want to see in the world and what I want to see is cool shit to say something my my quote unquote content is going to have more mature theme to it now it all comes down to my comic the dark star I'm giving this comic a blend between Metroid and Berserk I think to give you an idea what what I'm going for just look through Ryan Otley's Instagram to have a vision of what I had in mind it's been a long time coming but hopefully my next chapter in my art career will excite you as it excites me and if it doesn't well it was nice knowing you hopefully this chapter truly be fruitful and satisfying in the long run catch y'all later